Hey everyone, my name's Shane and I'm a big baseball fan. Welcome to 3 Up, 3 Down. For today's video, we are doing episode 2 of our Fantasy Baseball Draft Special, which means it is now time for who we've all been waiting for. It's time to introduce our special guest to 3 Up, 3 Down. Hey everybody, I'm Alexis. An amateur baseball fan, aka Shane's girlfriend. Glad to be here. Hopefully you'll see more of me on his channel. You'll definitely see more because we'll do this a few times through the year. So for this video, Alexis did her very first baseball fantasy draft. Uh, she actually got the number four pick overall, which if you watch my video, you'll know that I also had the number four pick <laughs> overall. So we're going to have our two teams going against each other all year. We are in separate drafts. We're not in the same league. but he knows I'd kick his butt. But we are competing against each other to see who finishes in the higher place by the end of the year in their league. One thing take note, all the footage that you're going to see from this draft happened before the first day of the season. So these teams are actually currently going on right now. We won't give any spoilers away yet. You'll have to watch the update shows as they come out. So Alexis, have you ever done a fantasy baseball draft before? No. So what was your theory going into this? Wing it. So you're going to get a chance to see what wing it looks like in terms of fantasy draft. You do a few players. Yeah. So we won't give any spoilers that. You have to watch all the way through to see who she picked and why she picked them because there are definitely some unique reasons along the way. But for now, I think it's now time to send them to your draft. Yes. Let's send them to your draft. So to without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we're just getting ready for the draft here. By sheer coincidence, Alexis has the fourth pick in the first round, which is the exact same pick that I had in the first round. So this is going to look even worse for me if she beats me. Which I will. Okay. So we're just kind of waiting for the draft to get started here. She already has a pretty good idea of who she's going to take for the first pick because she saw a name of one player that she actually knows, and she has the fourth pick, and they're ranked fifth. So who are you thinking you're going to take? Vladimir <laughs> Guerrero. Probably who she's going to take, if if he's there. He's going to be there. Okay. I'm lucky. Okay, so All that's right. what we're going with right now. Uh, <gasps> Will Smith, not picking you. <laughs> nope. There's, I, I will, there are two Will Smiths. I know, but I don't care. No, no, it's no, no. There, there's two Will Smiths in baseball. One's a catcher and one's a pitcher. And well, apparently yeah. you're not taking either of them? Um, okay. <laughs> probably not. Let's, so not necessarily like having the higher number in these is a guarantee that they're going to do well. Right. Okay. Yeah. This is their kind of like their projections, which are generally decent, but not always. Not actually. always. And people get hurt and all those kinds of things. Okay. So we're just starting the draft. <laughs> the timer has just started on the first person. They took Trey Turner which is good news for you if you want to take Vlad. So we're waiting on... You can't person. take Vlad. He's mine. We're waiting on the next couple people here to see. I, I have a feeling like you're going to be okay. We haven't looked at anybody else yet either, so <laughs> there is no backup plan at this moment, although we would still have our one minute to figure that out. So I'm winging no it. <laughs> no panic yet. In the meantime... <laughs> hi, I'm Alex. I'll be your co-host for this video. No, no, you're like the host host now, basically. I'm not prepared for this. Okay. It's now your pick. You have all these different options. You have Jose Ramirez, Bo Bichette, Vlad. There's Corbin Burns as a pitcher. Kyle Tucker. Those are kind of I'm like picking a pitcher? At. Nope. You pick whoever you want. Oh, I want Vlad. You want Vlad. We, we decided this at the beginning. <laughs> I want Vlad. And we're going with Vlad. Nice. So there we have it. Vlad Guerrero Jr. is going to be our first pick and will be our main First pick. There you are. You've made a pick. Now we have to wait 16 picks until it's our turn again. So we we'll are, be back. We're going back. We're going to be doing some looking and uh, I'm sure educating Alexis. Absolutely. So we're going to do that. And they took Matt Olson, which is good for you because you didn't want Matt Olson. I want so Shane Bieber. You're going to take Bieber. Shane Bieber, our give me our best pitcher. He got six strikeouts in his last game in only three innings. So. He's looks he's he's healthy again, so that's why I want to make sure people know that he's healthy. So we're taking Shane Bieber. I'm picking Shane Bieber only because his name is Shane. It's gonna be lucky. There we go. So we're picking Shane Bieber. Oop. Oh, 
Okay. Do I get do I get my it, no? It is your turn. I didn't pick anybody for you, so we're good. Uh, Marcus Simeon is Marcus still there. Simeon. You want to take Marcus yeah. Simeon. So we're going him. with Marcus Simeon, second base shortstop from Texas, because we've seen him on TV. I, well, I have personally. She's seen in him the on rare TV. occasion that I have watched know, sports with yeah. Shane and actually paid attention. We know who Marcus Simeon is, so we're going to take Marcus Simeon. There we go. 16 picks. So we'll be back after this break. <laughs> Tell you to shy away. From I want Salvador. Oh, it has come to our pick. Our. our Dreams apparently have come true. Salvador Perez is still there. Uh, this is at pick 45. On uh, normally, on average, he's picked 34, and you're getting him at 45. Um, I, I, you're getting really good value out of this, I think. So we're going to take the best catcher available. We're taking Salvador Perez. Uh, no, 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 none of this weed. We, this <laughs> is me. Taking, this is me. Alexis <laughs> is taking the best catcher in the draft. She's taking Salvador Perez with this pick right here, and that will. Help our infield. You help your infield very much. So we're drafting Salvador Perez. I like Freddie Peralta. We like Freddie Peralta. It's very likely that Freddie Peralta will be available here next. So they took Randy Rosa. And I'm took getting Freddie Peralta. Brian Buxton. So we're not weird. Alexis decided we're going with Freddie Peralta. She says he's going to pitch more innings this year. Lots of strikeouts. Lots of good ERA. Lots of good WHIP. So more innings this year for Freddie. Maybe more wins too. We'd like a few more wins. So Freddie Peralta is going to be added with Shane Bieber for your pitchers to start. Freddie is now Freddie Peralta is now part of the team. <laughs> nine, nine. Nine, nine. This is Corey Seager. Corey was hurt for part of the year last year. He's got some good numbers though. But he does have some very good numbers. Yes. I like I like this guy. Think, we're, we're picking this you guy. You think I take Corey Seager? Yeah. Okay, so then we're hoping he stays healthy. But if he he's stays gonna stay healthy. If he stays healthy, he's very, very good. Yes, when he's healthy, he's very good. You guys so stay healthy for me. He would fit your shortstop type slot. Okay, okay. so we're gonna go with you're gonna go with Corey Seager. Wait, who is the one that doubles his boat? We already pick him. Marcus, we okay. took him. Okay, so we're, we're gonna do. We're Seager. good. We're good. Yes, it's my turn. We she has decided though because if she gets the final decision in that. We've talked about this. She wants to do a relief pitcher because we want to get someone with some saves. And we've talked that she said, and she said this to me. She said Houston's been really good. Because she's heard that, so we're gonna take Ryan Presley because he's expected to be the closer in Houston. And Sylvester, do you agree? He's not disagreeing, yep. so we're gonna go with Ryan Presley. This is our mascot <laughs> who hates being held. <laughs> right there's Brian Reynolds. Oh, he looks like a nice guy. Oh, he plays for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He does play for the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, let's start him. Okay, so we're starting. He's got pretty good numbers. Brian Reynolds. Yes, he has very good numbers. All right. I like you, Brian. Okay. There's This guy's new to North America. There's Seiya Suzuki. He's Japanese. So he doesn't have any numbers from last year because yeah, he, was playing, he was playing in Japan. But yeah, we know. We know that. He hit like, now Japan slightly different, but he hit like 35 home runs in That's Japan. That's really good. Yeah. All you right, let's start star him. him? Yeah, okay. let's take a He's, a he would be a wild card guy for sure. Okay. This time Alexis actually has two options. And now we're gonna pick between them, but she already had that figured out. She was just trying to decide between well, she had her decide between Brian Reynolds and Cattell Marte. She wanted to take Brian Reynolds, but we like Cattell Marte too, so maybe he's still there in the next round. So we're taking Cattell, stand by me. We're we're taking Brian Reynolds in this round. Uh, Alexa says he's got really good numbers and more most importantly she said he plays for the Pirates and I wear a Pirates hat so, that's so he's got to be good he's got to be good and Brian Reynolds is really good so we're going to or she's going to take Brian Reynolds that's her going to be our first outfielder there's Shane McClanahan too there's a guy you remember we talked about before I need a third baseman you need a third baseman I think Anthony Rendon let's yeah. ask the audience while we run out of time you got eight seconds sure you're going to Anthony Rendon because someone Ruin my plan. So we had to scramble. We took Anthony Rendon. He's going to be a third baseman. He can be very good. Two years ago, he was like unreal. All right. Let's hope it's a he's, good year. Last year, uh, last year he was hurt. The year before, he was very good too. So he's had some really good years too. There's Luis Garcia. He's with Houston. I've heard of him. Okay. I, I know the last name Garcia for sure. Okay. I recognize him. You want me to start him? Is he good? He, yeah, he's a young guy. I don't. He pitched really, really well for them last year. 
Are you kind of thinking the Seiya Suzuki? Take the wild card. Now. I want the Seiya Suzuki. We're good. So Alexis wants to go wild card, so we're doing Seiya Suzuki as an outfielder. So then really, you just technically need pitchers, outfielders, and then any position you want. What's my favorite? Luis Garcia. Yeah. We're kind of leaning towards him. He'd be, yeah, we'd definitely be reaching for him, but he could be very good too. You kind of like him? Well, we only like, have 30 seconds left now. Or do you like this Jake or CJ? I want Luis. Okay, let's take Luis. So we're going to take Luis Garcia, a very good starting pitcher in Houston. Uh, that Michael Kopech is coming up here. I like Michael. You do? Like you said you like Michael Kopech. I Kopec. like Michael. Okay. So you want, you think I want him? Michael. We're going to take Michael Kopech. Last year as a reliever. Now he's going to be a starter. So he might not pitch as many innings, but he strikes out a lot of people. So Michael Kopech for the White Sox is a pick. We better make a, a decision here. Or we always have these these relievers. This Matt Barnes you liked. I liked Bender too. Oh, a lot. Bender? Yeah. I think we can maybe wait around for him. Okay. Or Cal Quantrill, someone you like too. Could you pick? No. Nope. Shane's pick nope. random. No. Nope. We got nope. nine nope. seconds. Nope. You got pick. I'm, I'm gonna... not picking. Well then you're gonna get Cal. Okay. See what I did there? <laughs> I did. Whoops. I didn't like it. I didn't like that. I didn't like pressure that. So I took a player who I also took. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so we both have. Pretty sure we both have Cal Quantrill. So if Cal Quantrill sucks, he's gonna Forward, suck yeah. for both of us. So yeah. This is again even playing field. Even right playing now. field. I took a player that I had because if he sucks. Now I've so got more good. time to make my mind up and yes. be less overwhelmed. Yeah. So we'll be good. I'll pick this time. Okay. Don't worry, guys. Two that pitch. was just a one-off. <laughs> You might be able to get both. I, I want know. Ty France. Okay, so we're going to take Ty France. What's my gut? Kind of a utility. Well, he's going to play utility for you, but he can also play first, second, or third. So if anybody gets hurt, Ty France is the ultimate. He'll cover all the Cover bases. everything. Good batting average. Uh, he'll hit some home runs. He, he is slow. He won't steal any bases, but we like the batting average. So Ty France. And he looks good. Apparently he looks good. I want the Red Sox. Red Sox? Okay. So we decide on relief pitcher Matt Barnes because we want one more guy for saves. And you already got – who did you get for saves? Presley. We had Ryan Presley. So Matt Barnes will match with Ryan Presley. So you have two closers, two relief pitchers from very good teams. You thinking okay. that? Yeah. AJ Pollock, we're thinking, going to play more. So we like the numbers. And he fills the outfield spot for you. So AJ Pollock it is. He was hurt. We have 55 seconds, not a couple of minutes. (laughs) You know what I mean. The math teacher doesn't know how to tell time. Okay. You're thinking Benintendi? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go Andrew Benintendi as kind of our extra utility. He has. Are we picking our pitcher this time? Or do you want to take the pitcher this time? Let's pick the pitcher this time. Okay. So we're going to take the pitcher this time. Uh, Anthony Bender, a relief pitcher for the Marlins. We're going to pick him. You sure? 100%. 100%. Done. Anthony Bender. So last year, he had a lot of strikeouts, 71 strikeouts in 61 innings. That's pretty good. His ERA and whip were really good. We're Which picking one? Patrick we're picking because Patrick. we have six seconds left. You sure? Yes, I'm sure, Shane. That's a good question. Jeez, Louis, stop <laughs> doing that. You're like, but like, let's look at this guy. Okay, sorry. Like, I'm running out of time. Is not a bad thing to have. So explain, Shane, what did we decide this we've time? We've decided that we're going to take, or you've decided that we're going to take Bobby Dalback. You like Bobby. He had a really good second half last year. Lots of home runs, lots of RBIs. The batting average is not as bad as some of the other people we looked at. And we think he could be a bit of third base sometimes, especially as like a few days a week. So Bobby Dalback is our first bench player. Yes, because we got lots of people like okay. first base. So we should probably go to the top. Outfielder catcher would probably yeah. make some sense for you. I'm probably thinking Charlie, catcher. Mike, Mike Zeno. Probably. What would you say? Backup catcher doesn't hurt because right. when, when Sal's not playing, he can play. Yeah, because we don't want Sal to get injured. No, nope, that's the last yeah. thing we want. So we're gonna go Mike Zanino. He gets the home runs, but he doesn't have a great batting average. But, but, that's, but to we be like expected we right expect that we like some home runs. We're gonna go with home runs over batting average, and he does play a lot too. So Mike Zanino, it is. Should we go with Alex Wood then? You thinking Alex Wood for my starting pitcher? Okay, as a backup starting pitcher. Because he's next to the top, isn't he? He is, yeah. He's so definitely, let's go with Alex Wood. Alex Wood. Nice pitcher. name. I like the name Alex. We're going with Alex Wood as a nice little starting pitcher backup guy. You can kind of use in the right situation. So Alex Wood. Okay, okay. We're going to go with Drew. 
Sure. Or Paul. Whoever's better. Let's go to Drew, the young guy. Okay. You like the thought of him. And he's a backup starter. Okay. So now we need one more outfielder. Probably an outfielder. So we'll go back to talk to outfielders and find someone. Eeny, yeah. meeny, <laughs> my Nemo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, my Nemo. Will Myers it is. Okay, we're going to Will Myers as your last pick, and you will have completed your first ever baseball, baseball draft. draft. That is it. Your team is full. So we're going to go and look at your team. Okay. So your team, right now we have catcher, Salvador Perez. First base, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. We have Vladdy. Second base, Marcus Simeon, because we saw him on TV. So Marcus Simeon. And Vlad. And Vlad. I like watching and Vlad. Vlad. So we like watching Vlad. Now Marcus is a different team now, but we like him too. Uh, third base was Anthony Rendon. We're hoping he gets better this year. He can be really good. Uh, Corey Seager was Marcus's teammate, Texas. We like him. We think he's going to do good there. We liked, he liked his batting average in yeah. particular. And if he stays healthy, that was one we talked about. Brian Reynolds, because he's in Pittsburgh, and he's the best Pittsburgh player. He's probably the only Pittsburgh player that got drafted, so we got him. Uh, you got your, your wild card, Seiya Suzuki, that outfielder from Japan, from who's it, Chicago. So we're going to see yeah. what he can do. You like the thought of him? I do. Uh, you really like A.J. Pollock, because you said he did everything, and now he's in Chicago. So we like the White Sox. Ty France was uh, someone you like because he played a lot of different positions and had a good batting average. So that was someone like there. Pat, then we went home runs. Then he went home runs. Yeah. Patrick Wisdom. Patrick Wisdom hits home runs, RBIs, and can play a little bit of everything. He can be an outfielder too. Bobby Dalback, because he hits home runs, liked him. And he can play third base. That was yeah. one thing. Like both those guys can play third base. So you got lots of third base options, lots of first base options. Backup catcher, you got Mike Zanino, because he hits home runs. We hope he hits home runs when Sal's not playing. Yeah. Basically. So we like that. And then Eeny, meeny, miny, moe got as a Will Myers as a, another backup outfielder. Kind of could be, could go either way. It's a, it's a coin flip at this yeah. point. He might be, if he doesn't do good, he's probably the first player you drop yeah. and pick up someone else. And that's fine. This was a learning experience. Absolutely. And it was um, a fun one. Pitchers. Pitchers. You got Shane Bieber. It's like, took Shane Bieber because we like the name Shane. I wonder why. I don't <laughs> know why. And so Shane Bieber. Freddie. Peralta. So we got Freddie Peralta, another starting pitcher from Milwaukee. You like Milwaukee, yeah. so we're going to do that. I really like Milwaukee. Okay. We've got some relief pitchers, some saves guys. Ryan Presley, because we got, you like Houston, or you thought, no, you knew Houston was going to be good. Yes. So you got Houston. And I'm going to skip down because Matt Barnes is the other one you really got there. So Matt Barnes for saves, another team that could do very well. Michael Kopech was someone we, I don't, we kind of, Stretched a little bit for, but yeah. could be really, really, really good. Uh, Luis Garcia, we stretched for, but you really liked him. Yeah. You liked his numbers, so he could do really good. He was really good last year for Houston. Uh, Cal Quantrill, you made me pick because we got down to a scramble. So I took someone that I already I took <laughs> in my draft. You'll see that. Uh, so, Cal, we're both either going to do really well with Cal or, or not so well with Cal. <laughs> so hopefully Cal does good for both of us. Uh, another guy gets some saves, Anthony Bender. You picked him out early. I did. Yeah, so someone from Miami. So he gets strikeouts, and we like his numbers. Alex Wood, because Alex. So Alex Wood is a backup pitcher for you. And another young guy we took for you, Drew Rasmussen with Tampa Bay, who we don't really know what to expect for him. No, We're gonna be that's interested. a gamble. That's a gamble, too. But again, we'll keep it interesting. another one that if he's not doing real well, then we'll maybe he's the first pitcher you drop yeah. and we find someone else. But overall, did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. So thanks had, for doing this with me. This is awesome. So you're gonna have to look at my video to see who I picked and see your video. And then down the way we will make a video. I don't know if we'll both be in it or not. We'll see. Uh, updating yep. where we're at. Definitely, well, we'll do it maybe about a quarter of the way through the season, then halfway. Yeah. Something like that. So stay okay. tuned. I will be back. That's either good or bad. <laughs> you decide. Leave a comment down below. Yes. And once you've seen both videos, make sure that you comment whose team you like best. Although I have a feeling I know whose team you're going to like best. So you can mock me on my video. Make sure you mock me in the comments that way. And yeah, we're going to have fun with this. And hit that like button to get a home run. <laughs>